Hello friends, this video on photosynthesis in higher plants part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this we'll end our discussion on light reactions. We saw how energy is produced in the form of ATP molecules and NADPH molecules in uh, non-cyclic and cyclic photophosphorylation. Now we will talk about the biosynthetic phase of photosynthesis. This is the phase where sugar is actually synthesized. That is actual food preparation of plant in the form of glucose takes place in this phase of photosynthesis. And this phase will utilize the energy which was produced in the light reaction phase of photosynthesis. Now we will talk about the biosynthetic phase of photosynthesis. So biosynthetic, synthetic means preparation, synthesis, the bio is life. So basically here we are actually going to synthesize the food material of plants. So this is the actual phase where the synthesis of sugar takes place. That is the glucose formation will take place in this phase. That is why it is known as biosynthetic phase. Now, let us quickly recall the overall equation of photosynthesis. It was something like this. CO2 plus H2O gives C6H12O6 plus H2O plus O2. So now, here in this process, we will see how carbon dioxide gets reduced to form glucose. So that is our agenda here. We will see this part. Now this reaction depends on the products of light reaction. Now in order for this reduction to take place, so carbon dioxide basically gets reduced to form glucose and for this reduction to take place it needs a lot of energy and that energy comes from the ATP and the NADPH molecules which were produced in the light reaction. So they are dependent on the products of light reaction. This phase of photosynthesis is often known as dark reaction. Now these are known as dark reactions does not mean that they take place in dark. There is nothing like that. They are known as dark reaction only because they are not directly dependent on light. I mean presence of sunlight is, does not affect, impact them directly but presence of sunlight is mandatory for the light reaction to take place and the products of light reaction are mandatory for dark reaction. So they are indirectly dependent on light and that is why the name dark reaction is like a misnomer because even though not directly but indirectly they are dependent on light. So it has been seen that even if the light is gone, these dark reactions might continue for some time but then later it stops because of its indirect dependency on light. So now we will talk about the biosynthetic pathways. Now there are many different ways by which this synthesis of glucose can take place. So let us talk about the different pathways. So we will talk about two pathways here one is C3 pathway and the other one is C4 pathway. So what is C3 and what is C4? So C3 pathway is the one where the first product of carbon dioxide fixation is a C3 acid. Too many new terms I guess. C3 pathway. It means here in this process we start with carbon dioxide and we want to produce glucose or we want to convert that carbon dioxide into glucose somehow. That is our agenda. So the first product, now it is again a multi-step process. There are many steps involved. There are many intermediate products which are formed. So the first stable product which is formed as a result of carbon dioxide fixation. Carbon dioxide fixation means you have a, a, some starting material or a reactant. Carbon dioxide from atmosphere gets fixed or it gets added to that particular material and then it forms a first stable product. So that first stable product of carbon dioxide fixation is a C3 acid that is a 3 carbon organic acid. So that is why this is known as C3 pathway. So what is that C3 acid? That is 3 phosphoglycerate which is often uh, abbreviated as 3PGA that is phosphoglycerate or phosphoglyceric acid whatever you call it. So this is the first stable product of C3 pathway. 
This pathway is also known as Calvin cycle after the name of the scientist Calvin who did a lot of research on this pathway. So Calvin was the first person who gave uh, this entire the complete pathway of how glucose is synthesized in a plant. So that is about uh, the process of C3 pathway. The next biosynthetic pathway is a C4 pathway. Now it is very obvious from the name so there it was C3 because a 3 carbon acid was formed. So here a 4 carbon acid is formed. So the first product is a is an acid which has 4 carbon atoms in it. So what is that acid? That is oxaloacetic acid which is often abbreviated as OAA. So oxaloacetic acid has 4 carbons in it. So that is the first stable product of a C4 pathway. This the, this pathway is also known as Hatch and Slack pathway after the name of this pair of scientists called Hatch and Slack who demonstrated it for the first time. So now it has been seen that in most of the plants C3 pathway takes place. In fact C3 pathway is the process of uh, sugar synthesis in all photosynthetic plants. But there are certain plants where C4 pathway takes place. That is where the first product is a C4 acid. So it is seen only in certain plants. So we will talk about the C3 and C4 plants also separately. That is, that is how are they different from each other? What are the characteristics that identify whether it is a C3 plant or a C4 plant. So right now we will first talk about the C3 pathway that is the Calvin cycle. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.